Hi everyone, that cat mommy here and I am so excited. A pet doula, I think that's how you say their name, sent me the most fun package ever. So they sent me this pet water fountain to review for you guys and to be quite transparent, I had my eye on this water fountain for a while before they reached out to me. I just hadn't pulled the plug and bought it yet because I was like, oh, I don't know whether I should get it or not. But when they reached out to me and they were like, would you do a video for us? I was like, absolutely, as long as I can say how I actually feel about it, I'm not gonna lie to my followers. And they said, no problem, we'll send the fountain. So I was like, yes! And when it finally arrived, I couldn't wait to rip open the package and dig right in. So the first thing that we did was we took it out of the package. We always recommend cleaning stuff as soon as you get it because you know, you just never know. I mean, factories are factories. So we always clean all of our products when they come out. And we unboxed it. We cleaned it, we made sure it was great, and then we filled it with filtered water. It did come with a filter and a sponge, so absolutely everything you needed to get started. It had a plug. The battery, surprisingly, was good to go right out of the box. Like, it started working right out of the box. We didn't even have to charge it. Um, it also came with little utensils that you could clean it with, which I thought was really awesome as well. Now, we have since, because it only came with one filter and one sponge, and with this particular fountain, the filter only needs to be changed once every four weeks or once every 30 days, but that sponge has to be replaced every single week. So we have since ordered replacement sponges and replacement filters for this fountain because you do need to replace that every single week. But setup was super easy. I mean, you just literally take it out of the box, you clean it, and then you can just see, we just put it back together, stuck that battery pack on the top of it, pushed a button, and it was ready to go out of the box. So 10 out of 10, easy setup, okay? Also, super easy to clean, okay? A lot of the other water fountains that we have, and we have had our fair share of water fountains over the years, they have like a filter compartment or something on the bottom of the actual fountain itself. So when you go to clean it, you have to like get Q-tips and stuff to like really dig in all the crevices and corners. With this, the base part of it, as well as the other two pieces that stack on top, that whole thing can go in the dishwasher, but we don't really use our dishwasher like that. Um, so it's really easy to hand clean because it's just basically a big bowl and you just put some Dawn soap in there, wash it up real good and then rinse it off and let it dry and it's totally done. So in terms of cleaning, super easy to clean. Plus it's stainless steel and it's food grade stainless steel, which makes it even better for your pet. It will help your cat with um, not getting the acne underneath its chin that might happen with some plastic filters. Another one of the things with the battery, the battery lasts 60 to 100 days. 60 to 100 days. Like, oh my goodness, off one battery charge, which I was just like, holy cow, that's like forever. Now you might be saying, well, what if I go out of town? I'm, I'm nervous. Maybe the fountain will, you know, the battery will die on it. Well, there's no problem. They definitely have a plug and a cord that comes with it. So this fountain can be ran um, plugged in. If you're worried that the fountain might die, you're going to be out of town. You're worried that something might happen with it. You can totally plug this fountain in as well. It has three different modes, which I thought was really cool. Um, it has a mode where it will go off every little bit and it will cycle through as a fountain. The mode that we liked was the sensor mode, which is if your cat gets between four and six feet, it will go off. And that's what we have ours set on. So it will go off for 12 seconds and the fountain will run. But other than that, the fountain doesn't have to run if it's running on a battery pack. Now, if you want the fountain to run constantly, you just want it to run, 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 and cycle, keep cycling, keep cycling, it does have to be plugged in for that. But we didn't really see the necessity in doing that for our cats. I actually like the the fact that it doesn't run all the time that it does cut off if you have an issue with like how fountains sound and is this fountain going to be too loud because you can't stand the sound of water the great part about this is it's only going to run if you 
or your cat walks within four to six feet of the fountain. So you can always put it somewhere where, you know, you're, it's not a high traffic area for you, so you won't hear it go off and it won't be going off for you. But even more surprising than that was, it wasn't very loud. Like, it just wasn't very loud for me anyways, but that's different for everybody. So here's a few seconds. I'm gonna actually put my microphone down to it and you can see what it sounds like holding a microphone down next to it. So obviously that's an extreme version of the volume that it's gonna make with a microphone held down to it. So imagine sitting across the room how loud is this out fountain actually going to be? It's not that loud at all to me. I think it is fairly silent. Now, another thing I loved about this fountain is, again, it doesn't have a cord. So if you have animals or cats like I do that love to chew on a cord, we have every single cord in our house has to be wrapped. And even then they want to chew on the wrapped cord. They're just just little minions of darkness. They just drive me crazy with this cord chewing. So not having a water fountain that I can put anywhere because number one, I don't have to worry it be being near a plug. And number two, I don't have to somehow find a way to keep the plug, uh, to keep the plug and the cord away from them chewing on it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And I have tried this battery. Again, this is coming out of the box. We didn't even charge it yet. Coming out of the box, didn't even charge it yet. This fountain is going a week strong and we have it in a high traffic area. So it's going off. Okay. It's in our kitchen and we cook in our kitchen and we will go in our kitchen frequently. Okay. So this thing is going off. The battery is still going and we can literally put it anywhere. That was one of the things. Insert here. A fun, a fun video montage of all the funny places I thought it would be to put this fountain to show you guys that you can literally put this thing anywhere. Now, would I recommend putting it in all these wonky places that I'm putting it just to show you that you can put the fountain anywhere? Absolutely not. But you can literally put it anywhere, okay? So if you're like me, you have an animal who loves to chew up cords or you're looking for a place to put a cat water fountain where you don't need a plug, okay, then you definitely should get this and get it immediately. So if you want a link to this exact fountain, make sure you click out the description of this video. Again, it is an affiliate link. So if that bothers you, then you can go onto the internet and, you know, do your own research, get one like that. That's totally okay with me as well. If you did like this video, why not hit that subscribe button so you can get more content from me and give us a thumbs up so we know that you liked it. And if you want funny content from me, you think I might be interesting or you might want to hear what my talking cats have to say because my cats do talk. They have a lot to say. Why not check us out on our other social media networks? And you guys, if you've been following me for a while, you know what to do until I see you next time. Remember to keep living your most perfect life.